What up guys, this is Kenny Dennis and welcome to another episode of Creators. And this week we're sitting down with Johannes Bartle. He's an amazing content creator, fitness enthusiast, and actor, and we're gonna pick his brain today. So get ready for this next episode of Creators. My name is Johannes Bartle, I'm from Austria. I moved to the US in 2014. Um, and I studied acting, but back in Austria, I was a personal trainer for over like seven years. So what was the one thing that drove you internally to come to America? Because obviously that's a big fucking deal for you to come from Austria, take a long trip out here. Like what was that? What was that, that thing that drove you internally? Like I think when I was 12 years old, I saw the Terminator okay, on television, that, that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I grew up in a small town, 1500 sure. people there. Yeah. And um, I always had this dream or this urge to do something bigger than myself. And every time when I shared my, you know, my ideas or my goals, right. I got laughed at. It was of course, like, you know, they, they don't get it until it happens. Exactly. So, yeah. so, so I had this feeling of like, I don't belong in this small town. I want to do right. something right. more than that. For you to come to LA knowing absolutely nobody, no connections, not anything, how was that finally getting to the city and really start to pursue acting? Because it must have been tough. Dude. I have I have the funniest story about yeah. that. So um, obviously in Austria, it was like super tough, For right? Sure. I'm going to do it. Yeah, sure. yeah, whatever. But it was a tough decision. I had to sell everything. Like, you know, my yeah. car, I, my, my apartment, like everything. I left with nothing there. Everything was cool. I was like super excited. And right. the moment I landed in Los Angeles, we landed and immediately I got so nervous. I was like, really? <gasps> I was like, boom. What's yeah, the right decision? Yeah, I don't know. Should I? Should, what's yeah. going on? I got so nervous. You touch down. You're in this huge city. You want to become an actor. So, you know, being in LA, you have to meet tons of people, make tons of connections. Yeah. So, what were your first moves? To be honest, I didn't even think about that. I was really? so no, not at all. Like, um, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I was so focused on working on my craft as an actor, I like in that. school. And then I graduated and I was like, okay, I learned a lot and I really want to go out there and start acting. So I went out on okay. auditions and castings and they were like, yeah, show me your resume. And I was sure. like, I just graduated. So only- Obviously, and that's, that's the crazy thing about going to education is because they put you in this environment, you start to learn, mm -hmm. but it's like, okay, for me to get a job or for me to grow my career, I yeah. have to have credentials. Exactly. So I was like, yeah, that's that's what I have. And they're like, oh, so you haven't been on like, you know, TV or any movies. I was like, no, I graduated like two weeks ago. Yeah. That's like, I'm, I'm, I'm out here. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and they were like, yeah, well, mm, no, we're looking for somebody, you know, more yeah, experienced or, sure. you know, like kind of like a celebrity something. Got it, got um, it. And I got that for like two, three, four months every day. No, 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 not good enough. No, not. Cool. And then at one point I was like, I don't know, like I, this is hard. I don't know what to do. So I got so frustrated that I ended up doing my own videos on social media because I was like, I'm not going to wait for somebody to open the door for me. That is I'm gonna, brilliant. I'm just going to open or create my own door. So when it, when you kind of started going into the social media world, obviously you started to create content. What was that first aha moment where you're like, oh crap, dude, like I, I got a huge jump in my followers. I started to see inklings of success. What was that moment for you? Like what happened was this, I moved to the right building like I had no idea about social media like really really no idea no I mean idea when you no that. like I had my social like my Instagram account but it was just fitness and was not yeah. like you know towards like a business or something for it was sure, just sure. yeah you know I want to share my passion then I met uh, my entire crew you know Amanda and Logan yeah. and George and Mark and, and we you would... had no clue that they were gonna be there when you first got there no <laughs> no a friend of mine she studied with me um, at New York Film Academy and she moved in here and she was like yo the building is amazing they have a pool they have a gym and yeah, I was like all right cool I'll just get an apartment over there like I met the right people became friends with them and then out of this friendship we started working together so what was your first video uh, I was with uh, George uh, and Hannah and a bunch of other people I don't even know who was in there um, it was like a, a pimple video I was okay, like okay. hey I have a I have a date, um, but I have this pimple. And then he right. freaked out. He's like, oh my God, let me help you. Yeah, and he yeah. puts on my glove and like, you know, punches me. Right. And I'm like, is it gone? He's like, nah. Not at all. And I'm like, yeah, so we tried to do all of that. And in the end, he puts a tattoo on my on my face and I show up, that's the reveal. And she's got like, it. oh, hey. And I'm like, hey, how you doing? And she's like, you got a tattoo? I'm like, yeah, you like it? She's like, yeah, it's right on your pimple. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? 
That was cool, and that one got, I think, 500,000 views. Really? And I had no following. People really loved the video, and that obviously gave me a great feeling, too, because I was like, okay, that's my passion, and that just motivated me to do more and Absolutely. more and more. How has collaborations played a big part into your success, and what advice could you give to other people who are looking to get into the space that you're in, yeah. and how you can kind of build that out? So that's probably one of the most important things ever on social media. Oh, sure. So obviously you need to follow your dreams, you need to have a passion for something, because if I start you know, playing the piano, it's like, it's not my passion, so people right. will see that and right. then they won't engage with you. Because whatever it is, acting, fighting, whatever, sports or yeah. like painting, doesn't really matter what it is. I think you said something very profound. You said when you came out to the US and you moved into your apartment complex, I became friends with yeah. Amanda, this person, that person. And most people, when they come into this space, they go out and they say, hey, me, me, me first. You want to collaborate with me? You want to collaborate with me? But you developed a friendship. Yeah, that was... That was right? <laughs> yeah, no, I had I had friends first. Like um, like I said, Logan and Amanda and yeah. ba uh, Batch and Georgie and Mark. And I didn't do anything. Like, I didn't want anything from them, right? <laughs> we were just working out at the gym, uh, spent some, you know, nights just like watching TV and yeah, like Netflix ordering and pizza. Show. Yeah, like everybody did their own thing thing and then they just basically invited me into their realm and be like hey do you want to do you want to join us do you want to be in this video i'm like sure why not yeah. but it was not me pushing like yeah. trying to get anything yeah. definitely you're into fitness you know mm. you have a i mean you're jack bro you look like on a sports neck so how has that played into you building your audience like you said you know it was acting and fitness mm -hmm. how's the fitness side kind of i used to show my body a lot in the videos in other sure, people's yeah, yeah. videos because they they were like hey great physique let's showcase that yeah. right so in my own videos, I wanted to show more of the acting side, but then it became this balance of like, you know, sharing some of my workouts and sharing some of my acting. And then it's like this 50-50 where I like post a little bit about fitness and a little bit about acting and a little bit about my life. And now <clears throat> I'm at the point where I created my own like uh, second channel. Okay. It's Body by Bottle and that's only fitness. Beautiful. So um, I share all my, you know, tips and like secrets nice. um, about fitness, like plant-based fitness. So I know that you're a vegan too. How did you kind of get into that? Back in Austria, I was, okay. I don't want to say a bodybuilder, but I, you you're know, right. like I said, I don't know Schwarzenegger, and I was like, okay, I want to I want to do the same thing. Yeah. I want to be a super like big superhero. And I had the, the bodybuilder, um, you know, meal plan. Chicken, beef, like rice, tuna, eggs every day. And I was yeah. huge. I was 190 and like ripped. So you were uh, bigger than what you were. Yeah, yeah, really? I was bigger than that. Yeah, um, and I felt horrible though. And then I just started doing some research and was like, hey, you know what? Let's just try a plant-based diet for 30 days. Wow. And I did it for 30 days, lost 15 pounds in the first month because I had no idea what I was doing. No I was way. just like a salads and like cucumbers and yeah. tomatoes, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> what everybody yeah. thinks. So yeah. was, and after 30 days, I was like, nah. I'm not gonna do that, I want a pizza. I ordered a pizza with a friend and I couldn't eat it. My body rejected it Shut immediately. Up, really? And then he was like, you are vegan now. You're a vegan. And I mean, obviously it was funny, but right. for me, it made this, like that was that moment where I'm like, oh, that might be, I might be onto something. So when it comes to, you know, Johannes, like what is your big vision? You've accomplished a lot right now, over a million followers on Instagram. You're continuing to grow. What is that overarching vision? What are you trying to impact the world with? So right now I'm working on my website, bodybybottle.com. A lot of people, like I read my DMs, obviously like let's say 80% are just asking about how do I lose fat? How do I get ripped? How do I do this? How do I gain weight? How do I lose weight? Like everything about the body and like, I wanna be uh, uh, you know, on a plant-based diet. How do I start? What do I do? And that's that's the beautiful thing. I know how hard it is to get started because I've yeah, been there. Absolutely. So now I wanna share that on my on my website with the people beautiful. and just build that and you know, build a, an, an amazing community, fitness community. How exactly do you make that transition from what you're doing now to acting, to being on the big screen? I know it's gonna happen, that, that might sound weird, but like everything I've achieved so far, I knew it's gonna happen because I, I put it out there. If you really write something down, you have a goal, a very specific goal, um, and you take the necessary steps to achieve that goal, there's no way around it. Who do you look up to? Who are those, yeah. let's say, top five people that you look up to? I don't aspire to be someone else, but like I like what 
Arnold Schwarzenegger did. Feels close to home, because yeah, like yeah, I'm yeah, from there, he's from there, and he did exactly what I want to do. Obviously, a big inspiration, but also like The Rock. Like his- I love The Rock, man. No, his work ethic is, I, I mean, I, yeah, I, there's no word for that. Like, no. incredible. And basically, all those like big action movie stars, yeah. like, they, they're just killing it, I love it. Or uh, Sylvester Stallone, like, love freaking love him. Like, I love stories where it's like, they got so many rejections and they never gave up. It feels so close to me, because I got the same thing. When I was in Austin, they were like, you don't even speak English. I'm like, but I can study. Exactly. They're like, I can but learn. You, yeah, like, you, have a, you have an accent. I'm like, but that could be good. You know, like I always exactly. tried to see the, the positive things, because there are so many people that just try to like, put you down and like, you know, you can't because of this. And I think that some of the greatest people on the planet have that personality where they will take those no's and internalize it so much and focus on like, dude, I'm going to prove you wrong. Yeah. It's a skill, I think. Cause it like, um, cause in the beginning I was like, oh, okay. But then I was like, no, 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 no. Don't let, don't uh, let that person uh, uh, win. No. And I have one, one funny story, another one. So I moved to Burbank, right? And then there was this photographer like in, in magazines. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna be proactive. I'm gonna look for the photographers in fitness magazines. And I wrote a couple and one replied. And um, then we had a conversation and immediately he judged me. Mm -hmm. You know, I just told him my story, what I wanna do. And he's like, I'm just letting you know right now, you're not gonna make it in Hollywood because you, you know, you need an agent. I don't think you're gonna get an agent with that accent. I don't think, you know, uh, for modeling, you're too short. Um, you don't have the, the look, um, this and that. And he just told me, no, 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 no. That was the first call, business call I had in, in, <laughs> in the US, right? And then it took me a little bit, but I was like, no, I came here for a reason. I don't, I don't care what he thinks. A year later, I meet him in Hollywood and uh, he's like, you want us? Hey, and I had no, I, I was like, yeah. He's like, remember, photographer, I'm like, you, <laughs> hey, how you doing? It's like, I would love to work with you. Um, and he was like, do you, do you have a management? I was like, yeah, I'll just give me your card. And I was like, yeah. now nah, all of a sudden you wanna work Please, with me. Bro. It was a good feeling, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Dude, but I love that though, because like you said, it's almost a mental trigger and it's a learned skill set to take that negativity and just focus on it. Like, dude, I need to prove you wrong. When it comes to people trying to get in this industry, yeah. what are some tips that you would give them if they're trying to aspire to be an influencer, build a, a big brand, what would be some tips? Find your passion, Absolutely. whatever it is, Absolutely. and share it with the world. And then people are gonna follow you for that because they wanna know more about it because you are so passionate about it that they wanna see and like, get that good feeling from you. Johannes, it has been an absolute pleasure for you to come down and kind of share Thank your you story. Thank you so much for having me. So where can people find you if they want to follow you? Where can you direct them? So it's Johannes Bottle uh, on Instagram. It's Johannes Bottle on Facebook. It's just <laughs> Johannes Bottle everywhere, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and absolutely, thank you guys for watching another Creators episode. Make sure you guys follow us at Rake and Ink on Instagram and Rake and Ink on Facebook. And make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Thank Peace. You so much. Love to do. <laughs> that was solid, bro. <laughs> <laughs>